uh, leaked COAG report this morning, uh, just regarding uh, the government's uh, future hospital plan. It's going to announce on, on Friday, essentially uh, from 2020 to 2025, they'll cap any increases in federal funding with a mm. greater emphasis on states mm. to do the heavy lifting. Uh, what's your reaction to that and what might that mean for the health system in Australia? So just repeat, just repeat your question. I'm not sure where you're heading with that. Uh, so I just wanted to know uh, how, con how concerned and how significant you think that is, that so the leaked reports of uh, the government's plan to cap yeah. funding increases for hospitals well, for that five-year period. Well, the health systems are run, the ho hospital systems are run by the states. Um, the states, however, do as much passing of the cost onto the federal government as they possibly can um, in order to reduce the cost. The cost of health care is going up at a, something like two or three times the rate of population. It's, un, it's on an unsustainable path. Something needs to be done. So for the Commonwealth to transfer some of the responsibility for bringing that rate of increase in health care costs onto the states is, is predictable. Um, the, uh, uh, so it, you know, it, it, it's inevitable that, that uh, there's going to be stresses and strains like that Something more profound is going to have to be done about our health system, though. It, it, it's, this is not going to fix it. The state governments do have more money than the Commonwealth at the moment. They're, they're not in debt, by and large, or not by anywhere near as much as the Commonwealth government. So they can afford to tighten their belt more than the Commonwealth can, um, as it happens. But ultimately, this is not going to be a fix. Our health system, as I said, the cost is going up at a rate two or three times the rate of population is simply unsustainable and something more profound than this will have to be done. My view is that uh, we need to increase respons personal responsibility for health care, deregulate the insurance market so that we can cover ourselves, uh, and not, not be stuck with big bills unexpectedly, but pay more for it via our insurance uh, premiums. And just quickly.